This is amazing. Now we have function calling in Claude 3. So what is function calling? It is a process by which you can integrate your own application with a large language model. Imagine as a user, you're asking what is the stock price of Apple to the large language model. The large language model can't fetch data in real time. That's when we integrate function calling. So the large language model understand the company name and then it will provide the company stock price symbol. That is then passed to our internal tool. That is our custom made tool, which is stock price. And it is capable of getting the real time stock price using the symbol. Next, we are sending that data back to the large language model. Then the large language model can accurately respond that the stock price of Apple is $1.175. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about function calling in Cloud 3. We're going to see how to create the tool, how to define the tool description, and then ask the large language model what is the stock price. Then we call the function based on the response from Claude, and finally return all the output to the large language model to get a final result. The tool is nothing but a function. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install Anthropic, Y Finance and Rich, and then click enter. Anthropic is the main required package. Y Finance is the custom tool which we are going to build. So we can integrate that with the large language model. Rich is just to print clearly in our terminal. Now export your Anthropic API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. First from Anthropic, import Anthropic, then importing rich, then importing RE, that's for regex extraction. Next, Y Finance, defining the client, defining the model name, that is Cloud 3 Opus, which got just released. Next, we are going to provide the stock message. So that is find the current stock price of Apple and the role is user. Now we are going to send that to the large language model, client.messages.create and then sending the message. Finally, we are printing the result. This is before function calling. We are going to see how it's going to respond without function calling. Now I'm going to run this code, python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Before function calling, to find the current stock price of Apple, I need to use the stock symbol AAPL. And it's getting the stock price from March 13, 2023, which is outdated. But we need a latest stock price. That's when we integrate our own tool. Imagine you have your own tool or own software, which can get the live stock price. Using function calling, we can integrate that. Now in our code, so the first step is to define the stock price finding function. So the get stock price will automatically get the current stock price of Apple. So now we are going to integrate this function that is our own custom function, which can get the stock price and integrate that with the large language model. The second is tool description that is also called function definition tool description. And then you can see it's in XML format. So here we are defining the tool name. It's get stock price description to find the current stock price using the ticker symbol here. The parameter is ticker symbol, which is string. That's it. So this is where it changes compared to all other function calling models. So this is accepting XML format. Next, we are going to send this tool description to the large language model Claude using system prompt. So here we're defining the system prompt. So the system prompt looks like this. We are mentioning in this environment, you have access to set of tools you can use to answer the user's question. And we are providing the structure of the function calls and we are providing the tool description. Now, after creating the tool, the tool description and the system prompt, we are going to send this information to Claude. Going to call the client.messages.create function again with the model name, max tokens and the stock message. The same question we are going to ask now, find the stock price of Apple. But additionally, we are sending the system prompt. So the system prompt will contain the tool description, which we are integrating. Now let's try running this code by printing the response, Python app.py. And here is the response from the large language model. So it is giving me the function call in XML format. This contains the tool name that is get stock price and the ticker symbol that is AAPL. Now we need to parse this information. That means read the tool name and the ticker symbol 
then run the function and finally return the output back to the large language model. So we have completed creating the tool, tool description and asking Claude about the stock price. Now we need to parse the output, call the function or the run the function, get the stock price, then send the real time stock price back to the large language model. Then we'll get the final response. So now extract the parameters from the response and call the function. For that we are defining a function called extract between tags. This will automatically read what is in between these tags and these tags. Now extracting the function params. So this will automatically go inside the tag name ticker symbol, which you can see here and get this AAPL. So that is the function parameter. Next is the function name. This again will go in between the tool name tag, which you can see here and get or read the get stock price function. Now we are listing that function here and finally calling that function. So this is where you integrate your application with the large language model. Now we're going to construct the function results, which is again an XML format with the tool name that is get stock price and the standard output. That's where you provide the price. And we are going to send this back to the large language model. Five, send all messages back to Claude. So that will include the previous function calling message, the initially what we retrieved here, and also it involves the current function result. So it knows the context. Finally, the final message, final message, client.messages.create. That's where you pass the partial assistant message, which includes both function calling message and the current result. And we are including the system prompt. And finally, we are printing out after function calling final message. So now we are going to compare before function calling and after function calling. Let's run the code. Python app.py and click enter. And here is before function calling with some random information. So after function calling, the current stock price of Apple is $175.10. I'm really excited about this. Now you are able to integrate your application to Claude 3 using function calling. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.